Hello everybody, this is Pi with srlounge.com. In this video, I have a couple quick tips regarding managing your keyword list. And because we're gonna keep this video short and sweet, I'm not recording any DSLR video footage. Well, that and because I don't really wanna comb my hair right now. But let's get into this. We get asked this question quite a bit. Now, this is my perpetual catalog, and what we're always asked is how do we remove multiple keywords at one time? We know that in the keyword list, when we right click, we can delete a keyword, okay? So we can delete and we can hit yes, to confirm in the delete dialog, and that's fine. The problem is that when we select multiple keyword categories by holding down shift, left clicking on one, and then selecting another to create that grouping, if I right click and hit delete, it only deletes the actual keyword that my mouse was over. So it'll delete 07 field silly, but not any of the other ones. So how do we remove multiple? This is actually quite simple. It's not really that intuitive though, but what we do is we just select our grouping. You can hold down shift and left click to select a giant group or just a group in order basically, or you can hold down control or command on a Mac and you can left click to select an individual grouping of, of basically items out of order. I'm gonna select all these because these are all items that I don't really wanna keep inside of this uh, perpetual catalog or keywords I don't want to keep in here. And what I'm going to do is just go up to the minus button up here. Now it doesn't really tell you that this is what it does, but if you click minus, it will indeed delete all of the selected keywords that you have. So when we confirm this, it does actually remove everything. And this is how we keep this kind of primary catalog. Like I said, this is my perpetual catalog and I'm importing all my favorite original files, the original raw files from all these other catalogs into this one catalog. So I have everything in one place just for portfolio reasons. This is kind of the catalog I use to create articles and tutorials and so forth. And just the one I use to kind of keep all my best work together. Now, one other quick tip is to organize your keywords by parent and child categories so that your keyword list doesn't get too out of hand. So what I like to do is kind of categorize based on the usage of these photos. For example, in SR Lounge tutorials, this contains kind of all the images for different tutorials or different reviews that we're doing. So all I do is I create a new keyword. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to select out these five images and we're going to go hit plus. And uh, once they do this, it's gonna bring up the little keyword tag dialog, and I'm gonna type in basically my keyword name. So I'm gonna hit 2014. These images were created a couple days ago, so I think it was on the 20th or 19th. I don't know what date it is today, either way. Okay, and this is for the Sigma 50 millimeter art review. And this review is coming soon. I'm also gonna check this add selected photos so that it puts these selected photos into this keyword tag. I'm gonna hit create. And then once that's created, I'm gonna drop this into SR Lounge tutorial just by clicking, left clicking and dragging and dropping into this tutorial section. That way I can kind of keep all of my different keywords for whatever different categories I have nice and organized in this parent and child kind of grouping. All right, now remember the quickest way to see images within a keyword grouping is actually just to expand the keyword grouping list, go to the right and click this little arrow and it'll pull up the images that are applied to that little filter grouping. Okay, so very nice functional and organizational tool inside of Lightroom. I'd highly recommend you guys use keywords and hopefully you enjoyed this little quick tutorial. If you have an interest in learning more about Lightroom, be sure to check out the Lightroom Workshop Collection. It's available in the SR Lounge store. It features over 20 hours of education from A to Z inside of Lightroom, from organization and workflow all the way through to basic and advanced artistic developing. And it also includes our gold standard in raw processing software, the SR Lounge Lightroom preset system. That's it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Be sure to click subscribe if you want to see our future videos and I'll see you all in the next one.